Okay, Allie, show me your ring. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you how did you get that awesome job? Well, I became a better human being and I became feminine and also shocking, submissive. Hey beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about a white lady that was literally calling out women that are not submissive out, like saying that they should stop not being submissive and be submissive to their husband. Anyway, with that all said, let's just hear what this woman have to say. This is triggering, guys, but let's watch, okay? Okay, Ali, show me your ring. Oh, here. Now, tell me what you do for a living. Oh, I love my husband. <laughs> and how did you how did you get that awesome job? Well, I became a better human being and I became feminine and okay. also shocking, submissive. So that was the secret. So what are your tips to women that want to be a housewife? To embrace it. It's an actual job. You just can't get it in the public or private sector. Like you need you need a man to hire you for it. But that's okay. Because if you think about it, you submit to your boss who makes you clean stupid shelves at your retail job, right? Like, wouldn't it be better if you were cleaning your own shelves at home? You know what I mean? And your and your boss wants to sleep with you in a good way. In a good way. <laughs> and where where do you meet these men? Well, I think women should work for the men that they want to pursue i know that sounds crazy but it's really easy so if you think about it like you want a lawyer right so then you should be a paralegal or if you want a dentist then you should be a dental hygienist okay. but these are considered i guess high high value status prof professions but i think that's a really good model that not enough women utilize because women will bully the woman who is the secretary that marries the doctor okay but who has the last laugh like her in her McMansion with her husband who's hot <laughs> and the baby. Like that's that's who has last laugh. So <laughs> I saw this video like she this must be a prank. Apparently this is not a prank. This woman seriously believe in what she's saying. See I see I respect people's opinion. Like do you do whatever works for you. But this is really cringy when you tell another human being to probably structure a life just to surround another human being, another gender, like not living life for yourself, but just to provide and satisfy another human being. For me, it is disturbing. And this lady, people went ahead to call her out after this video and were saying things. I was asking her question. And this lady was responding to them back to back. So let's go and hear some of the response to some of these comments. Allie, how do you feel about the women that are saying this is heartbreakingly sad? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I get my back blown out regularly. I am fully paid for survival. I have my own autonomy. Uh, I also do my own work. So, like, I just don't see what's wrong with my situation. But they can ask themselves why they're single if they won't. <laughs> I think in a marriage is like the only so, thing. So, Ellie, another comment is being feminine and submissive women shouldn't have to change for men to like them. This is ridiculous. Exactly. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the same type of woman that's going to say that a man should change everything about himself to be a viable partner. So oh. they're just they're just hypocrites. So <laughs> why why do another human being needs to change themselves to fit another human being's life? Like, be you, the person that's going to like you for being you like you and love you for that. Why do I have to change and manipulate myself to suit somebody's preference? Why? Allie, so they're saying that you should be worried from being fired from being a housewife one day and having a gap in employment. I would love to be a stay-at-home mom, but I'm too scared to trust men that much. Well, yeah, if you want to work for the rest of your natural born life, you can continue to be afraid of depending on men, right? And uh, again, like I do my own work as well, so, don't understand these women. Your own work as a housewife, like literally. Allie, this girl says you that she prays you find you yourself and become confident in, in yourself rather than needing to be submissive. Sad. Mm -hmm. Tell her that I like to find myself on top of my man. So <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> really? So Allie, the men want to know where can they find a woman, a woman like you? Oh, I mean, I'm a statistical anomaly, but for the most part, you can find good. 
apparently men are going to like be clapping and be loving this type of woman like yeah this is what we're looking for and now they're asking a way they can find women like her like really people so men are ready to be with me women that are ready to change who they are to suit them wow the wholesome women away from the cities and in the country especially if they come from a two-parent household is there like places they can look yeah the entire Ooh. midwest <laughs> all that, all that. So, do you think like like churches, like what like what like specific places can they go to to meet women? Church is a complicated thing because it's produced a lot of betaized males. But I would say that there are feminine women in church. You just have to be careful if they're not delusional. Okay, okay. <laughs> We're delusional right now. Ali, what do okay. you say to the comments that say this set women back fifty years? I don't, I don't think so because women fifty years ago were a lot thinner. <laughs> I don't know. I think they're wrong. That was a dumb response. Ellie, what do you say to the women say. that say this is so sad? <laughs> so sad. I don't see how it's sad. What I think is sad is shaming a woman for being married to somebody that she wants to be married to. Like, why are you mad? We're not mad that you're married to somebody. We're mad that Ellie, you're losing they want to know is this a joke? They're confused. <laughs> It's not a joke. They just don't understand it. It's like people, instead of trying to understand something that's new to them, they would rather demonize it. But we do that all over American culture. But you guys are welcome to send me an email and drop some questions. It's Allie at realfemsapien.com. I'm happy to do breakdowns because I promise the men are not evil. The thing is, though, is that most men can't do for you what my husband does for me. Right? But if you want to find somebody who does that, let me know. She's not hooking people up. Okay, okay, Callie. They said being afraid is a valid fear. I was a stay-at-home mm -hmm. mom, and after divorce, I got nothing. It's the scariest thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if you choose to live in fear, you're constantly living in scarcity. And so, you know, I would challenge you. If you got divorced and you got nothing, why not try again at romance and try and see if you can do better? That's better than being alone. Okay, broke, dependent. I want to know how you someone. feel about letting your husband okay. cheat. Okay, so the PC answer is that if he does step out that's a reflection upon myself because i am most likely not putting out or i've given up on my looks my real answer is you know uh, as long as i don't know i can't be mad can i sis okay ali what'd you say <laughs> no i was saying She's is that people think things. that i'm hard on single people and it's like look like nobody likes being single you go to work you come home to nobody some people don't even have a dog and if men don't like being single and men like to have sex more, well, obviously, women hate being single more. Temple actually like being alone. Enjoy Allie, what do you company. say to the women that say, my husband isn't my boss. There is no need to be submissive. You're a team. Mm -hmm. I understand where they're coming from, but these same women don't understand that oftentimes they'll put their husbands on the back burner for like an actual boss in real life that they have to submit to. And they constantly ask their husbands to modify their lives for that. Meanwhile, the dude is forgotten. He's absolutely sexless and she's feeding him out of the microwave. That's the problem. If you can work and love your man equally, you want to talk about equalism, right? If you can do that, then good. But most women can't. Most women can't even push the power button on an air fryer. It's another thought. Allie, what is this? The 1950s? No, it's 2022, and I get this point a lot, this dumb argument. By the way, probably for somebody who wasn't even in that era, the difference between 2022 and 1950 is that in 1950, you were prescribed to be a housewife. In 2022, you get to choose, but guess what? Only like a handful of women even get the option because they plan their lives accordingly. This is oftentimes a projection trying to make it seem like we are, we're so awful and oppressed. I don't think so. I get everything I want. I just get it through my husband. <laughs> I can't live like that. <laughs> Allie, or, okay, or you could just become the lawyer and, and the dentist and hire a husband. I don't know who wrote this, but I need you to know that I have eggs and they're going to expire. And by the time I finish school, what, I'm going to be 30? And then who wants to marry, like, a woman who's like this, this doctor and this lawyer that's going to put you second at all times? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's okay if a woman gets her education. But at the same time, like, I don't want to become the man that I want to date. That doesn't make sense to me. Why would you want to become the rich man that you want to date? Allie, like, there's oh one God. comment that says it sounds like if you are not in a committed relationship, you are nothing. What's the problem with being alone? 
I mean, you can be alone if you want to be alone, but most of the women that I know that are alone are not there by choice. There's no men asking to wife them up. They're not even asking to date them. So if you want to pretend like you have choice when you don't, it's just a lie. Okay. Well, even in life, she's the one Someone says, life. housewife here, but not submissive. I run it here. My husband is the mm -hmm. director of his company, but when he walks into my doors, I'm the boss. That sounds horrible. That does not sound like a good time. Is he okay? <laughs> is he on blood pressure meds? Ma'am, ma'am, <laughs> he's running a company to provide for you, and you let him come home to you to boss him around more? That's overtime. Are you paying him? He's bossing people up in the office. Allie, what do you say to the women the that say they cannot be submissive? I mean, I get that, but oftentimes these women don't know how quarrelsome they are. Like, they don't understand that a lot of people that they hang out with actually don't want to spend time with them. They don't understand that they're the last person to get an invitation and they're getting invited out of obligation. Because you have to understand, it's not just the domineering part of the romantic relationship. It's like, you want to be that feminine woman that people fight over to invite to the holiday party. And sometimes that's just not you. And no one's going to tell you because we have a very feminine culture that puts women on a pedestal. But I'll tell you. I think she has dependent this issues. lady wants to know is this a joke i've been a housewife for five years i'm not feminine and definitely not submissive also i have a very nice woman who cleans for me twice a week ma'am you're not a housewife you're a roommate you got somebody what if you stay home and you don't work why can't you clean your own house like ma'am ma'am you're a liability not an asset I, no fuck says actually i'll have the last laugh as a female physician so i saw that but i went and i did a deep dive because i want to see the perspective of the kind of woman that this is coming from so this is someone that really values her looks because that's that's going to help her with the mcat and she's not even a doctor yet so like how would you know because i talked to women who are mds and jds and if they want a husband and kids what they do is they work part time and they still let their men lead i know these women this is not good advice one in 20 people are narcissists. I wish that a no enemy. My question is, how bad do you have to suck at dating that you end up with the one out of the 20 people that is a narcissist? If this stat is true, because women like to make numbers up. So if this is true, like, like what's wrong with you? What about the other 19? You can't get them? Anyway, guys, this woman went on and on just to defend her actions, why she choose to live a life. Like, it's a life, like, I'm not even going to take that from her. It's a life, do whatever rocks your boat. But it's really shocking that people are still, like, depending on people. Like, she's literally living a life for someone else. Like, if that man, like, stop bringing in the income or tell her, like, no. Like, she's even willing for him to cheat. Like, she feel like if it cheats, it's her fault. Like, for me, at first, when I was watching it, it seems like a joke, but keep on watching her. I just realized that she really believes what she's saying, and she has been living with it. And if it works with her, okay, but I think, like, she has a codependent issues where she feels like she needs a man to worth something. And for me, that is really deep. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. I would love to read from you guys. Are you with R or not? Let me know what you think. Anyway, guys, that's about it for this video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Deuces.